With macOS Sonoma, Apple killed support for a lot of Mac models from 2017 and older. But what if your model is from 2017 or older? And that is what I've been doing the last weeks. I went through all the different Mac models, MacBooks, iMacs, MacBook Airs, Mac Pros, Mac Minis, you name it. And to find the sweet spot where does it still make sense to install macOS Sonoma on an unsupported hardware? What are the problems you might encounter? And is it worth installing, for instance, macOS Sonoma on a 2012 Mac Pro? And if you were following my channel, and if you haven't yet, I would recommend you subscribe my channel and click the bell for notification because there will be so much more news in the next days and weeks about Sonoma on unsupported Macs. In one of my last videos, and that was a live stream, I installed the Sonoma Beta on a Mac Pro 2012. And it works, it works nearly flawlessly. And so I'd like to go through all the different Mac models and you can pick your Mac model there and you can decide, is it worth installing Sonoma? And then you can continue using your old Mac hardware with the latest Mac OS Sonoma. Let's go. So here you can see the officially supported models of macOS Sonoma. And basically it all starts around 2018. The only exception is the iMac Pro from 2017. But if you compare these officially supported models with macOS Ventura, you can see that a lot of 2017 models have been missing right now. So the iMac 2017, like my wife's iMac, is not supported officially anymore. As same goes with the MacBook Pro 2017, also not supported anymore. And the regular MacBook series that ended in 2017 is not supported anymore as well, as it's also a 2017 model. But if we talk about these officially supported models, we can check the website of the developers of Open Core. What are the inofficially supported models and that is the overview. You can see that the MacBooks, the regular MacBooks from 2015 to 17 should be able to run Sonoma with the Open Core Legacy Patcher. The MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro both start 2012 unofficially to be able to run Sonoma and same goes with the Mac Mini. As the Mac Mini nearly has the same hardware as a MacBook Air. Then you have the iMac, which already starts in 2009. But later in that video, I'll give you first-hand information about my iMac 2011, if it is worth installing Sonoma on. Then we have the Mac Pros, the cheese graters or the trash cans already starting with the Mac Pro 3.1 from 2008 and the same goes with the XSurf servers if big if if you have a metal capable graphic card installed so let's start with the MacBook 2015 and the MacBook 2015 was officially supported until Big Sur no problem here to install macOS Ventura or Sonoma. Same goes for the MacBook 2016 and for the MacBook 2017. So the regular MacBook series should be running fine with macOS Sonoma as the latest one was already officially supported up until Ventura. So if we talk about the MacBook Air 2012 and you can see here the officially supported macOS was macOS Catalina. Those MacBooks that support either Mojave or Catalina, they already have a metal capable graphics card. So here it goes, that's a MacBook Air 2013, that's my one. The MacBook Air 2015 to 17 was officially supported until Monterey. MacBook Pro also starting in 2012. Basically you can install it and you can use Sonoma and that same goes for every newer MacBook Pro as well. 2013, 14, 15, that was already supported until Monterey, and 2016 and 2017, that was supported for Ventura. 
talking about the Mac Mini and as I already said the Mac Mini is hardware wise more or less a MacBook Air without a screen and a keyboard. So same chips, same processors and same integrated graphics. Mac Mini 2012, 2014, no problem. The iMac to have it upgraded to a metal capable graphics card in my opinion not recommended. Same goes for the 2011 iMac, also not recommended. So right now the first one I recommend installing Ventura or Sonoma on is a 2012 iMac and as you can see it was supported until Catalina so it has a metal capable graphics card. Every new iMac obviously as well so 2013, 14, 2015 iMac and the 2017 iMac which was supported up until Ventura should run more or less flawlessly with Sonoma. Talking about the Mac Pro 3.1 actually, that is the one from 2008, there is no problem to upgrade to a metal capable graphic card. It runs flawlessly. So Mac Pro 4.1 and Mac Pro 5.1, but they are more or less identical. The Mac Pro 2013, I just installing Sonoma Beta actually on my Mac Pro trash can and I'll give you some first-hand information in a few minutes when it is installed. And the Xserve, as I said, more or less, is it a Mac Pro cheese grater in a server case, um, but quite difficult to change the graphic card to a meta capable one and that is one example I found on Mac Rumors how you can upgrade it. If you do, you have a good chance to run Mac or Sonoma on an XSurf server. So, but now let's talk about the most important thing. It's one thing to install Sonoma on a unsupported Mac, but is it usable? Can you use this as an everyday Mac to do your things? And as I cannot test every old Mac, but at least I have a selection. As I said, a MacBook Pro 2012, a MacBook Air 2013, the Mac Pro 2013 and the Mac Pro 2012 is below the desk. And I tested all these with some everyday apps, okay? First one was how did the installation go? Um, are there any issues that you just notice right away and there are none with none of these Macs they're all working fine then I tested the maps app okay because the maps app has like some graphics that it has to show either in satellite mode or in discover mode so let's just fire it up here and I didn't do that on the Mac Pro 2013 yet so you're like first timers like I am um, let's start the maps app and you see the map is working quite smooth. You can just zoom in and out. That works. So if I switch to satellite view, that works also. And you can just, you see, one thing that I notice is that some of the um, transparency doesn't work because you see here all the names of the cities have a black surrounding. If we just go to the Maps app here on the MacBook Pro, let's start this up and you can see when I zoom in and out, you see the text is just white. There's no black box or something around that. That is one issue that we noticed that the Mac Pro 2013 with its AMD Fire Pro graphic cards seems to have some issues with the transparency. That is the first thing with the Maps app. What I also checked is the weather app. Ventura had some problems on my MacBook Air 2013. Even though this is one year younger than the MacBook Pro from 2012 where it works perfectly. Let's check how the weather app is working on the Mac Pro. Let's choose Cupertino and that looks very okay. Everything is showing up and working. If I do this here on the MacBook Air, 
as soon as the app is loaded it's you see the revolving ball nothing happens for like five minutes when I start scrolling this works more or less but right now you see nothing's happening you see just the uh, the ball revolving and that stays for like three four five minutes until it's set up and that is not an internet connection issue that is an issue with the weather app and the graphic drivers the next that I chose was Apple TV because for playing those videos you need some video acceleration and when we go maybe here to a trailer of invasion let me just enlarge it a little bit this one works perfectly um, with the MacBook Pro when I start Apple TV here and we start the same trailer you see as soon as the controls go away it has a green flickering screen as soon as I move the mouse and the controls comes up everything's fine the controls go away it starts flickering with green that is only in full screen mode if you have it like in a window mode here all fine so that wouldn't work if you want to watch a movie on this one here the MacBook Pro though has an integrated Intel chip in the CPU and has another Nvidia chip so you can switch to the Nvidia GPU but if you do that Apple TV will crash so does this make it useful to run macOS Sonoma? I don't think so. Let's just start Safari and check Apple website if everything works here because you can see there's a video running here and if you click on the MacBook Air here and scroll down then you can see everything is quite smooth and working so this graphic acceleration works. With the MacBook Pro 2012 the video up here there's just like a purplish background the video is not playing and if we go onto the MacBook Air and we scroll here you see this doesn't look right as it should be there are graphic problems the transparency is not working finally let's talk about my iMac 2011 which is right there so here it is my iMac 2011 macOS High Sierra is the latest official macOS why because High Sierra was the latest macOS that didn't require a metal capable graphics card and I tried Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur, Catalina and Mojave so all the way down to High Sierra on this old iMac first of all I could not manage to get macOS Sonoma run on this iMac it installed after installation there was no root patch applied but as soon as you apply the root patch you have about 30 seconds and it completely freezes I reinstalled Sonoma three times it's working without graphic acceleration you apply the root patch you do the reboot and as soon as you log in you have about 30 seconds and it freezes completely that has to be something with the graphic drivers that are reintegrated into Sonoma with the open core legacy pattern so maybe and again another reason to subscribe my channel maybe with a newer version of open core legacy patcher either the official 0.6.9 or 0.7.0 or whatever the developers may be able to reintegrate the graphic drivers that this doesn't freeze so I went back to Ventura you can install Ventura but you do have when you open up the maps app black and gray screen there's not even showing anything 
like for instance with the Mac Pro there were some graphic issues this one with Ventura doesn't show anything in the Maps app. With the Weather app you don't have any map function that's the same feature but the biggest downside with Ventura on this iMac is that you don't have Bluetooth and so you can only use USB keyboards and mouses and you cannot use anything Bluetooth wise. So for me that's a no-go running Ventura. So I thought okay just go back to Monterey and with Monterey you have Bluetooth but the same problem with the Maps app just black and gray screens depending if you're using explore mode or the satellite view and obviously you don't have any graphic acceleration for H264 or HEVC. So then I went back to Big Sur and with Big Sur the maps are working and that is my recommendation use macOS Big Sur with Open Core Legacy Patcher for those non-metal iMacs because Open Core Legacy Patcher is only built for Big Sur and Nua. So for macOS Catalina or Mojave you cannot use the Open Core Legacy Patcher. You can use Open Core to boot them but there are no root patches available. So that won't work and on their website the developers write you should use DOS Dudes Patcher. I give you the link down in the video description for all the websites and the patcher of DOS tool is quite a handy tool where you can download the installation, you can create a USB drive and you can install Catalina or um, Mojave on this iMac but with that Radeon HE 6770 graphic card even though DOS Dudes patcher cannot do any graphic acceleration. So if you install Catalina with a patcher or Mojave with a patcher you have no transparency effects, you have artifacts in Safari, you have again in the Maps app black and gray screens and you have with Apple TV you have graphic errors, artifacts and the trailers won't even start um, because there's no graphic acceleration. It's unusable. So that leaves us basically with either High Sierra which is not supported by Apple anymore you don't get any security updates the store is not maintained anymore so that's quite a vintage macOS where you can just use old software and just let it sit there or you use the Open Core Legacy Patcher and use Big Sur or maybe Monterey without the maps features but with Bluetooth. Ventura no Bluetooth and Sonoma a freeze after 30 seconds. So I hope I could give you an overview and help what to do with your old unsupported Mac and you can just pick up whatever you need and I have established a discord server I give you the link down in the video description where you can just log in and let's start to discuss. Otherwise you can just if you have questions or comments or findings just give me a comment below the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's all enjoy the new Mac OS Sonoma and let's talk a lot about that either on Discord or in the comments here. See you soon. Bye bye.